Discussion on causes of elevated prosthetic wall gradients. Elevated gradients across prosthetic walls can occur due to various reasons. But before declaring that prosthetic wall gradients are elevated, the usual gradient across the given type of prosthetic wall should be known. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Different types of normally functioning prosthetic heart valves have different gradients. Normal gradient is different between the various valve positions. Transmitral prosthetic valve gradient is lower than transiotic prosthetic valve gradient. If the gradient during postoperative review is available, it can be used as a benchmark for comparison. Some of the important causes for elevated prosthetic wall gradients are prosthetic wall thrombus, panis, large vegetations, calcific degeneration of bioprosthetic wall, patient processes mismatch, high output state, pressure recovery phenomenon, and high velocity central flow in a bileaflet wall. Clinical scenario should be considered in detail during evaluation of elevated gradients as echocardiographic patterns have their own limitations in the assessment of prosthetic walls. Body surface area should be checked while assessing patient processes mismatch. Elevated transprosthetic gradient is an important feature of thrombus within the prosthetic wall. In the mitral position, a gradient more than 8 mm of mercury is suggestive of prosthetic wall thrombosis. In case of aortic prosthetic wall, the suggested cutoff value is more than 45 mm of mercury. A word of caution is needed here in that gradients may be low in low output state despite significant obstruction. This has been called silent Doppler prosthetic wall thrombosis. Panus formation or tissue growth into the prosthetic wall can increase the transvalvular gradients. An in vitro study has shown that when the panus width was 25% of the wall diameter, gradient can be increased more than 2.5 times than without panus. Large vegetation has been mentioned as a very rare cause of prosthetic wall obstruction. Large vegetations are a feature of fungal endocarditis and staphylococcal endocarditis. Calcific degeneration can occur in glutaraldehyde preserved bioprosthetic walls. This is yet another cause of increased transprosthetic wall wall gradient. Patient processes mismatch is important mostly in the case of aortic wall. When the aortic wall is replaced for aortic stenosis, aorta may be small and may take only a relatively smaller processes. Aortic root widening procedures are done sometimes but can increase the surgical risk. Patient processes mismatch can be assessed by checking the body surface area and the corresponding size of the prosthetic wall. Severe patient processes mismatch is defined as indexed effective orifice area less than 0.65 square centimeter per square meter body surface area. As we have seen low gradient with low output state, higher gradient can occur in high output state. This aspect should be considered before considering an elevated prosthetic wall gradient as being due to obstruction of the wall. Pressure recovery phenomenon can impact the Doppler assessment of prosthetic wall performance. Pressure recovery phenomenon is recovery of aortic pressure beyond the region of the jet across the aortic wall. The lower pressure near the wall is due to the effect of the jet which causes a reduction in the lateral pressure. To get the recovered pressure or settled pressure, catheter has to be pulled back about 2 to 3 cm beyond the sinotubular junction. The lower pressure near the wall gives a falsely elevated transiotic wall gradient when measured by Doppler echocardiography. High velocity jet through a relatively narrower central orifice of a bileaflet prosthetic wall can produce a falsely elevated gradient. This was noted on catheter pullback through the central orifice while it was not there on pullback through the side orifices. The mean difference between the central and side orifices was 46%. 
this value corresponded to the elevation in Doppler gradient. It was an in vitro study in an aortic wall pulsatile model. Here are the first set of references on elevated prosthetic wall gradients. Second set of references are here. Here are the final set of references on elevated prosthetic wall gradient. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.